I've been all around the world. All right, so we just took a look at the menu that's right there, and we're gonna go have lunch in here. We've never ate here before. Oh, wow. Look at the end. Oh, my. Love the atmosphere. I mean, when does the uh, reception area or lobby of a restaurant look more like a furniture store <laughs> than a restaurant? Bar area. This is absolutely beautiful in here. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this patio. <gasps> this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, just the different textures. Oh, and it just keeps going. It's like each room has its own little atmosphere to it. Okay, this plate display in this little private room. Oh my goodness. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so our server said put a little oil on the plate, put vegetables mixed in the oil, big chunks of bread, and bon appetit. So this family that owns this restaurant, which is like 30 something years, um, not necessarily this one, but the franchise, whatever. Um, they own that olive, they make that olive oil also. And this is superb um, there's like garlic in here the vegetables make it kind of sweet and you put those flavors together yum yum so the vegetables are red peppers cauliflower um, green onions carrots celery so oh, celery and I think that was it kudos on the water like jar because that way we don't have to wait at least for like our first two refills of water. We can pour it ourselves. So, homemade pickles, truffle potato fries, egg plant sandwich, and chicken parmesan. I've been told right outside the women's bathroom used to be a payphone right here. Okay, this is an amazing little collection of rolling pins. review time so this restaurant was not on our ra radar not saying we hadn't like seen it obviously we've seen it at some point since July or June of 2018 is when it opened now it's been other things it's been the Portobello Portobello cuisine basically they've been there for 31 years um, they also own paddlefish they are the longest tenant that Disney Springs or downtown Disney has had. And we just happened to like look at the menu and lunch prices were pretty good and thought, yeah. The sausage stand wasn't open and yeah. it was on the way to the firecracker shrimp at the boathouse and yep. we hadn't tried it, so something different. Yeah, originally we were gonna try the, I wanted the plant-based sausage. He wanted to try something, but they weren't open. He's like, let's go to boathouse. A good old bratwurst. Yeah. So, oh my goodness, I am so glad we stopped. First of all, the atmosphere, the interior, their design is just makes you feel just, it's inviting. Yeah, and, I'll um, go with that. Yeah, and the actual, 
I filmed, I said something like, I don't know, sunroom. They call, they actually call that room a conservatory and it wasn't always there. It was part of the open patio, but when they did the remodel, they enclosed it, which wonderful touch. Their remodel was supposed to be three months. It lasted 14 and during those 14 months, they, um, redid parts of the menu they used to have like a flourless um chocolate cake that they finally just kind of got rid of and made it a different chocolate cake their bread pudding okay gonna go back and try that because talking to our server who by the way was so knowledgeable so informative um was not like intrusive but was there whenever we needed him um he's been there for years and when they were doing the remodel he was like at the boathouse but um, he said the bread pudding has cranberry in it and orange with a caramel sauce. So, oh my gosh, that I'm gonna try. <laughs> but he didn't tell me that as after we had our bill and said we didn't want dessert. But next time I am trying that. So my portobello sandwich. That's um, not what you had. Was it? Oh, I'm sorry. I had eggplant. That's portobello is what it used to be called. I had eggplant, but first I tried their homemade pickles and oh my goodness, they were so good, sweet. They kind of uh, popped, you know, they were crisp, but then there was like this little kick afterwards, which was very interesting and their homemade chips were just fine. Yeah, I'm not a big pickle guy, but they, they were all right. I like yeah, them. Yeah, they had some type of spice on it. Chips, chips were good for uh, homemade chips. I like those better than most and the eggplant that is are you I, sure that's what you had? Yeah, I had eggplant the best eggplant sandwich i think i have ever had and i explained to the server i told him i said definitely the best i said i'm not big on fried food but of course eggplant sandwiches or if you order any type of eggplant it normally is of course <laughs> but i said one of the reasons i liked it is because it wasn't soggy and didn't taste fried and he said the reason for that is um that they cut it very thick and they dry it completely before they do a quick fry so he's like that is the secret and i'm like well it works with um it had just a tad bit of some type of sauce on it it had um some pesto the cheese oh just melted all on the sides it was superb um, I already stated that I the water was cold, not Florida water. This was definitely filtered water. And it's, he kept it refilled we, so that we could constantly refill our glasses. Um, so, so superb there. All right, let's get to your chicken parmesan. I had a chicken parmesan sandwich and it was very average. <laughs> um, nothing special to me. It, the the bun was a very similar bread to the bread they brought out for the early bread service um, which I really didn't need more of after the early bread service um, chicken was cooked just fine um, and just personal taste um, not enough tomato sauce which that's a that's an issue a lot of places with tom oh, yeah, like always. he seems to never get enough sauce on anything parmesan and a good chunk too much pesto flavor for me i like just only a little bit and they it was a big clump it was very green but you now know but that the you could cheese was good scrape it off no you can't it oh was, you couldn't no no it did it, it is it it became one with the bun and one with the <laughs> cheese one with the bun. and no no I, <laughs> I took a look at it and said nope nope not 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 worth trying here but uh you know um i liked the place I, again the atmosphere was nice and i'd be interested to go back and try something different sometime D yeah try but, the dinner that's that, what i was thinking that, that's not a thing i'd order yeah. again they also have um wood fire is that what you call it wood fire pizza in the wood fire oven they also have that and um are evidently kind of known for they have some good cocktails also yeah it was like a eight item little short lunch menu and that's really all we looked at so yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd be very curious to see what the rest of the menu was like and i think our sandwiches were like 14 dollars, right they were a lot like 14 dollars. yes exactly 14 dollars. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, and that's a pretty good price considering Each. all the food that we got and the quality, the quality of my eggplant sandwich. Even though I think anytime I would go for lunch, I would get the eggplant again. They had a vegetable, roasted vegetable sandwich also, but I think I'd be stuck on the eggplant. But if I went for dinner, I would definitely want to actually pay attention to the rest of the menu and try something else. Yeah, so, dinner I might go back there. Uh, mm -hmm. Lunch I would go for the sausages or the firecracker shrimp. I'll have to bring Lakeland at some point and let him um, get something and try it. But I am um, just totally love it, I think. Um, and he even he said a lot of people kind of just look over it because it's like surround, I mean, you got the paddle um, fish on one side, the boathouse on the other, so it kind of gets lost in between them. Yeah, it's tucked into a corner. Yeah, it's not so. a super high traffic area. And everything she said about, she's sure we've seen it before. It's like, I've seen that, it, but... Draw a line right here. I don't ever yeah, remember seeing I've the place. I've seen it, and I know I definitely saw it when it was called Portobello. It was like Portobello, and then they called it like Portobello Country Cuisine or something. Um, he said that it had uh, quite a few different names, but... And I forgot the actual original name was not Portobello something. I think it was some type of Italian something name. I don't know. Uh, but I definitely give it two ears up definitely worth a try and uh yeah. wouldn't this be one ear up no i'm giving it two ears up if you want to give it one ear that's fine but i'm giving it two yeah yeah i'm, I'm, I'm at, at one and hopeful for the future there we go so what we'll do is another trip we'll do a dinner and because the only thing he just it was just what he had that he wasn't thrilled with so try a different entree and and maybe it will maybe be something different all right guys check out the disney dining review playlist plus there are some um other we have other reviews we do we have um other even non-disney reviews wow. places in the orlando area i'm gonna have to look for those yeah that's that's on a couple of those are on the playlist too make sure you subscribe um don't just put up disney dining reviews there's merch vlogs there's haul vlogs there's resort tours there's just regular fun vacation stuff there's special events we do a little bit of that fun vacation stuff too and amongst all the other things yeah when i'm not vlogging we do fun stuff and every now and then i catch the fun stuff on camera and sometimes i miss it which is really sad all right see you at the parks